another episode of Miriam's Little Corner. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button. Today, I will show you around La Casa de los Azulejos or the House of Tiles. As I show you the place, I will narrate some important facts behind the story of this magnificent building. With nothing more to say, let's travel through time and space to La Casa de los Azulejos. In exchange of the debt, Don Demian decides to turn over the little palace to Don Diego, who jaded by wealth, decides to retire and turn it to his daughter Graciana. This Graciana was married to the Count of Valley of Orizaba, and over the next few generations, the building was inherited by their descendant, also a Count. On the first story, we can see a fountain, tables, a mural made by the Romanian painter Pagalot. We can also find everything sold on a sandworms, like personal items, books, magazines, electronic devices, etc. On the staircase that leads to the second story, we run into a mural made by the famous artist Jose Clemente Orozco. And if you need to go to the restrooms, you can find them right below the mural. Wanna move my feet? Telling the story behind La Casa de los Azulejos. Following the end of the Orizaba occupancy, the ownership was transferred several times in the next couple of decades. And in 1891, the Interby family, who owned the building, turned it over to the prestigious and exclusive Mexico City Hockey Club. Until next time!